All right, guys, so you are going to need some water-soluble markers. You're going to need a single coffee filter, one of the big ones that your parents might have at home. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the coffee filter, make sure you're doing this on an area that's nice and clean, make sure you're allowed to get this a little bit dirty because it might get a little bit wet once we are finished. What I want you to do is take your wonderful, bright, colorful markers. Oh, that's so pretty. And what I want you to do is begin in the middle of our dot. Remember, it is International Dot Day, so we need to make our first little dot right in the middle. Once you've done that, we can start adding more colors. Remember, when we put our caps on our lids, listen for that click, and you know that it's closed. Next color, I'm going to do an orange. Listen for that click. Maybe a blue would be cool. I might do a blue wavy line. Let's have a look. Followed by some lines. Oh, that looks cool. Looks like a bit like an egg. That's pretty cool. Listen for that click. Uh, I'm going to go for yellow. Oh, that looks cool. We want to try and cover the whole coffee filter in bright colors. All the way around. Oh, I might do a spiral. That's kind of a cool idea. Let's try a spiral. Whoa. Oh, that's so cool. All right, I'm going to stop right there. Let's get a different color. Listen to that click. I'm going to go for this bright green. I'm going to color in these different sections, different colors around the outside, I think. There's a green. Might do a dark green. And we don't have to worry about being too neat because once we add the water, it's going to help blend in those areas. Put a little bit more green there. <laughs> it's running away. Turn this guy around. More green. Wow, that looks so cool. Put green right there. Perfect. Almost there. I love this color. There we go. And then last one on this side. Oh, awesome. Okay, I think I like it as it is. Actually, I might add a little bit of blue into this spiral right here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, I like that. Right. Okay, get your markers out of the way. Make sure all your lids are on correctly because we don't want them drying up. Once you've done that, you need to find an area where you are allowed to make it a little bit wet. So I'm going to use either the paintbrush in the water or if you have a spray bottle, you could use a spray bottle too. And what we want to do is we want to make this a little bit damp on the outside and you're going to let it sit and dry. So let's take a look. I'm going to spritz. One, two, four. Let's try again. There we go. One, two, three, four. Spritz. All right. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to just make sure everywhere got a little bit wet. Perfect. Now, we need to sit and let it dry.